Hi guys, it's Sam, and I thought I would vlog my first official week off. Today is July 1st, it's on Monday, and it's 4th of July this Thursday. Although me and my family, we don't particularly celebrate these kinds of holidays. Um, we celebrate Easter, and when I mean celebrate, we plan something, like we go out to eat, or um, we have a special meal at home, but like 4th of July um labor day memorial day stuff like that we just kind of stick around the house um my friend is coming to visit um, my really good friend she lives in texas right now uh she's coming to visit and that's gonna be fun we have a couple things planned with her and to be honest i thought that i would vlog i started to vlog last wednesday which was june 26th uh, wednesday and that was my last day of work before summer break and Things just kept on coming up. I would forget and it stunk because I had my birthday weekend. I celebrated a couple of times this past weekend and I went out to eat at a couple of my favorite restaurants. Um, but as I don't know if you can tell from my voice, I am not feeling very well and I was even worse last week. And I started to get a scratchy throat um, that night, that Wednesday. and. I didn't know what I have. I think I have a cold because I did have a fever um, and I'm just so congested. I'm still congested. I was, thought I was feeling better this morning um, around 3 a.m. I was like, oh, I feel good. Um, but I woke up today and I couldn't fall asleep either. I went to sleep at like 6, but I finally got myself out of bed at 1230. Um, I still congested and I'm coughing up mucus and my nose is just keeps on getting stuff so um, I'm trying to drink fluids and um, just try to get better I do have a doctor's appointment this Wednesday uh, I don't want to go to urgent care they're gonna charge me $50 and just give me a Z pack like they always do so I'm hopefully I'll be better before then but if not perfect then maybe she could prescribe me something different and um, I'm just, I'm glad that I'm sick now, so I'm not, I'm not, not saying I'm not going to get sick later on, but, um, hopefully I won't. I'm just glad it's not sore throat anymore. I would rather have a runny nose all day than a sore throat. It's just, that's my preference of sickness. Um, yesterday I went to Trader Joe's and I forgot how much fun that place is. I follow on Instagram, um, a user it's called Trader, Trader Joe's does it again and she highlights some things and now I even follow I don't know if it's in relation all these does it again but I know I think Target has one I follow and Costco has one just feeding my shopping addiction but I had so much fun just walking down the aisles it's not a huge store and they only have like one or two items of like one thing which is perfect and um, I got a few new things I got the pancake bread that's really good I got, um, <coughs> excuse me, I just had so much fun there. But I'm going to try to vlog this week. We'll see how I do. And I'll check back in. Hey guys, so this is my uh, evening plans. I'm going to work on, um, so I have my, what's that called again? A planner that I'm going to start to fill out. And then... Uh, this book I'm gonna put like I have my cruise coming up so I wanted to just I have stuff I want to remember to bring and to get and all that stuff and please excuse the tissues I need to throw away <laughs> and then I want to show you what I made for dinner so here's and this is everything is from Trader Joe's this is polenta then we have Brussels sprouts with bacon I added the bacon and then there's a roast chicken that they had in a bag I didn't realize it was a whole it says whole chicken but for some reason I thought it was cut up which I could have done myself before I cooked but um because I my oven is broken so I have to use my toaster oven uh, but I made it work and it's pretty good and then I am just with some of the chicken bones I'm making chicken broth just because um I think that'll help me out and I feel like that's something I learned from my mom is when someone's sick, you make chicken soup. So I'm sick, I'm making chicken soup. Um, so who cares if it's about 85 degrees outside? I'm gonna 
gonna be drinking my steaming hot chicken broth that I made. It does look good though. Um, I gotta let it cool down because I took a sip before I, I picked up the phone to film this and it burned my tongue. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just be working on the stuff that I just showed you and it's fun for me. It's not like that's a chore. I just getting to actually do it is the having the motivation to do this is fading right now because I'm just not feeling great at all. I took my temperature, it was 99.5. Not too bad, but I didn't have one yesterday, so ugh, no more talk of being sick. I almost forgot to film dinner. So here's the spaghetti squash, the bok choy, mmm, flounder, which is just in panko and flour and egg, and then the salmon with a soy sauce and mustard kind of sauce by the way sorry for the toilet shot but now my toilet is broken or actually it's not as bad as it sounds so this part this won't flush you have to manually we can at least manually lift that up but that's annoying you know the, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you who are homers know that they say once you buy a house it's always a project and then I want to show you my Amazon package came in. And I had initially ordered this, um, these things before, and it was on its way. And then I all of a sudden I looked on Amazon again, and they were like, oh, damage returning to seller. So I was kind of frustrated that nobody notified me. I had to look up myself. Anyway, so I got this Clorox toilet bowl cleaner and then this is the cleaning clinging bleach gel one and these work amazingly well for the toilet to get your toilet cleaned and this one is four for I think ten or eleven dollars which is I think that's a great deal so glad that came today hi guys so it's Wednesday I'm at my second doctor's appointment I had a third but no way am I gonna make that I definitely put them too close together I just thought in my mind I'm like maybe things will work out in my favor and I'll get to see each one but nope my first one was at 9 I didn't get seen until 9 45 and then this one was at 9 30 and I went to them around I got here at 10 I was like I'm so sorry I you know my other appointment was delayed and they put me back into the rotation I guess and then um I got called in at 10 15 which wasn't too bad but now i'm gonna have to wait um actually i didn't get called at 10 15 i think it was like li definitely later than that but i'm waiting now we'll see this is my the first one was gyno this one is a physical and the third one was supposed to be for eyes but i'm gonna reschedule that i would just try to do too much and i was even gonna try to do blood today but i think there's a line for that as well so next time i'll remember not to group them so close together so that's what I'm doing. Just waiting here. I don't know what's wrong with Ava lately, but she's been wanting to go to the basement a lot and she seems more comfortable in there than she does out here. So I'm getting a little concerned, but she seems to be okay. She's still eating and everything, but just every day she wants to go downstairs to the basement or more comfortable in there. So I don't know. You just saw that little clip of Ava. I'm just probably, I'm probably being overly cautious about her um but i just i don't know when you notice when your dogs change behavior we have dogs and it's a little bit concerning because it's like she used to do that once in a while like wanting to go down to the basement but now it's every day so i don't know anyway i did come back from my doctor's appointments and i got out of there I could have stayed longer to get my blood work done, but I just wanted to leave because I was there for two hours already. And it was, I was only seeing two doctors, so basically an hour each, which is ridiculous, but that's how it is. And so I'm going to go get my blood work done this Friday. I didn't want to go back, but now I'm going to go back three times, which is probably what I should have done the first time, just made three separate appointments. And... Um, I went to see my primary because 
Uh, well, it was time for my physical, and I have some health issues. Nothing too major, but one of the main problems I'm having right now is my sleeping has become worse and worse over the years, even worse into my adulthood. Uh, insomnia, just my head does not want to stop thinking, and I've tried a lot of things, over-the-counter stuff, and uh, better sleep hygiene. I could always do better, but um, I want to see her about that, and um, a few other things. I'm doing okay. Uh, can you guys tell that I colored my hair? Of course, it only did, like, the top part and the bottom. Oh, it looks so fried. Um, I don't know why I try to color my hair at home. It never works out the way I want it to. So I'm just going to, in a few weeks, I'm going to color it back to black. And, yeah. So uh, after our, me and Steve both went this morning, and it worked out that we were kind of done around the same time. So, um we got out of there around 11 o'clock and then we went for lunch and then he had to go to work and now i'm just gonna rest um i am feeling better like i, I don't know if i was sick or had a cold or allergies but i'm feeling better i still have a residual cough but other than that i'm feeling like i'm on the mend finally huh it's, it's so annoying to be sick but you're not really sick with anything if that makes sense so I'm better, and tonight I believe we're going to go out to eat because everybody has off tomorrow, and then maybe go to Lowe's because our toilet, of course our toilet, ugh, needs to be fixed. My grandmother, if anyone lives with older people, they get obsessed about something, and she's like, when are you going to fix that? And it just started breaking yesterday, or not breaking, it still works, thank goodness. Uh, but like me and everyone else sees it as like not a blessing but at least the toilet still flushes you have to do it a weird way to flush it for now but at least it still flushes uh, but no she just wants to fix right away and like are you gonna call people and blah 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 so it's kind of frustrating but we'll get it fixed and i'll update you guys on what happens if i remember hey guys i'm in the kitchen i woke up from my nap which wasn't very good, it was on and off, and I kept on waking up, so um, I finally got myself up, and I'm drinking a little coffee. I know it's pretty late, it's almost five o'clock, but I just needed a little something. I haven't had coffee since I've, really since I've gotten sick, which has been, um, I don't know, seven days, and I went to the doctor, but she didn't seem too concerned. She was like, maybe it's allergies, and um, we discussed other things there, so I'm fine. Um, but I have it in my little Miss Princess mug and it says practically princess in every way. I absolutely love this cup. And I have five um, size options on my Keurig. So I chose the second one, which is not the espresso size, but I guess like a little teacup size. Um, but I wanted to make this too since I another Amazon order came in. I follow this person named Kimchi and Collards. And she's kind of, she's funny. I enjoy following her. She's, um, she does a keto based diet. Not that I follow her for that, but she, I, I just like her personality. So I, on her recommendation from her stories, Instagram stories, I got the Sweet Leaf Sweet Drops, but I got the tr three pack to try because it was a really good deal on Amazon. This is the vanilla one. That's the caramel. And then this is a chocolate. And I bet you could even mix and match, but this is, uh, Sevia oh sweetener. So it has zero calories, no sugars, no artificial sweeteners. And I tried the caramel today. And at first I thought I wasn't tasting anything. I love that I don't have to add sugar because I usually add like one or two tablespoons of sugar. But I can really taste it and it tastes good. Yeah, so I'm excited about that and can't wait to try the other two flavors. And you could add this to anything. Um, and they even have... Um, you can add it to food, drinks, recipes. I think that's so fun. And in the back, it's everything practically zero. So excited about that. Um, and I also want to show you, since I'm staring at it right now, these flowers from Whole Foods. Now, I did just throw away the dead flowers that were in here, roses. Um, but all of these stayed really, really nice. And even the car the carnations, I just wanted to point out, they're my favorite. They're the most underrated flowers. I choose carnations over roses. I know that might not be the 
like the most popular choice but I just love them and they stay fresh forever um, so my sister got these for me for my birthday from Whole Foods and they're just so cute love them a perfect birthday gift um, I don't actually like receiving flowers because they just I don't know they make them <laughs> they don't last but these have lasted for um, a week and I think they're gonna last for another week so really nice and they're small and doesn't take up the entire room um, so love those and now I'm making dinner um, and I'm making it even though we might be going out to eat tonight because tomorrow is 4th of July and I want to have just kind of like we're the type of people we don't go out but I like to make food for us to pick throughout the day so I'm making turkey stroganoff but I'm gonna make it with a couple of uh, changes I'm using turkey instead of beef and I might use a mixture of sour cream because I want to finish that sour cream that we have up and um, Greek yogurt plain Greek yogurt because I, I I have done a recipe with just using Greek yogurt before and it was pretty good but I kind of like um, just sour cream just has a little bit more richness to it so mixing the two I think would work really well so I'll show you the end result of that I want to do a little bit of exercise I've been horizontal because I've been sick um, a lot and I feel like my mostly my legs and my my butt area are really feeling it and even when I'm lying down I'm not comfortable anymore so I think I need to do like some stretching so I might, might look for a quick video on YouTube to just get my body I don't know I need to start moving my body um, because I am feeling a lot better although I just had the residual cough and some congestion in my nose but not as bad as before and I talked to my doctor about it but she kind of just glossed over it and I didn't make a point to like because I was feeling good at that point you know when you want to go to a doctor because you're sick but then like you don't show any of the symptoms symptoms there and um, so I want to do that and also want to do longer we'll see if we get any of that stuff done so I'll be back so I got busy being distracted so while in the middle of making dinner I cleaned the freezer because I didn't know what was in there so now I know it's good to do that every other month or maybe a monthly just so you know what's in there because sometimes I end up buying stuff that I already have but now I know what's in there for the next month I'm good until I forget again but I'm trying to use this food processor from my old house that I got a couple of weeks ago instead of the tiny one that I have because I want to process a lot of stuff and I love the tiny one and it's great for um, if I'm making small stuff but I just want to try this and see if it works it might be a bust it was it's pretty old it's a Cuisinart uh, prep 11 plus 11 cup food processor why am I saying processor wrong processor processor I was adding an extra sis in there but that's what I got busy doing I am gonna officially I already made the egg noodles but I just did see the thing about the big ones though they're much more complicated than the small one that I have so let's see if I can get this oh my goodness guys <laughs> sorry I'm gonna go back to what I was doing look it works I'm so excited Okay, so I finished making dinner. Here's the bro uh, broccoli. Here's the string beans because they look kind of funny to me. So I wanted to cook them before they went bad. And I added garlic, salt, pepper, and tomatoes from my garden. Which the tomatoes don't taste that great. So I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, there's egg noodles. And then there is the... Um, the turkey stroganoff and it tastes really good I made the mistake of blending the mushrooms which I really shouldn't have done that because I like to see the pieces in there it came out really good and I also added a ton of Greek yogurt I don't know why but it came out more creamier but it's very good I'm in the basement and I came down to bring laundry uh, my grandmother's laundry down because my sister is going to do it for her and then I came to look for a card for my grandmother as well she has a friend's birthday that's coming up so she wants to send a card and I'm just looking at this basement and it's better because I cleaned it a little bit but it's still just stuff everywhere and I'm gonna bring more stuff in here because I still have things at my other house that my family there has graciously let me use their basement but I know they want it out it's probably it's been a long time since the stuff was there and 
I think that's all I wanted to tell you now. I'm starting to sweat because I didn't get to do my laundry, but I'll do, I don't, there's, there was no rush for that. I am sweating because I'm, my legs, because I've been laying down so much, they're in so much pain in my like butt area. So I've been doing squats and yoga stretches and things like that. So that tells you how out of shape I am. Guys, I found the most perfect card for my grandmother to give to her friend. My grandmother is sort of picky. Uh, she just has a certain idea, I guess, of what she wants in her head. I guess like everybody else, but she's very picky. Um, so I found this. It says, happy birthday on your special day. And it's religious and message, but I think the person goes to church. So this is perfect. Yay! Hey, guys. We're at Lowe's. Made it to one of our destinations and Sabrina's teleporting in there. Welcome back. Oh wait, no, this is not where the toilets are. No. Where are we going to the toilets? Uh, to We're looking at the toilets. I don't think it matters, Sabrina. Her name is Sabrina. I call her a bunch of stuff. You know, this is... But I do have to find... I'm going to the again. Okay. Well, we'll just follow you. Oh. Oh my goodness, there's a bug behind. Um, we got the toilet thing that we needed. Then we got um more dirt and a bigger pots and lid. Hi guys. So, I'm closing out today. I went to Lowe's, I got myself a floor length mirror, no sorry, not a floor length, a door length mirror and I want to put it somewhere in my room because the only mirror I have is my vanity lights and that's okay but it cuts off half my body so I want to see my full outfit and uh, things like that. I also got the toilet handle thing that was broken but when we opened the package that was broken I was like, what are the chances? Um, that is not toothpaste that's on my mouth. I ended up getting a cold or I could start feeling it. I, during dinner, we went to the diner and I was so upset because I think that's like part of the reason why I'm still sick is because this was coming on. So hopefully that won't last too long. I took medication for it and I put cream on it. So fingers crossed it won't last that long. I don't have really anywhere to go, so I should be okay. Um, just take time to heal my body's telling me that it just needs i don't know it needs something to change needs something to heal uh but dinner was really good i got eggs for dinner um or breakfast for dinner it was eggs potatoes and sausage is my favorite at a diner and now i'm home i'm getting ready for bed and we'll see what tomorrow brings it's gonna be lots of cooking tomorrow Surprise, surprise, I'm in the kitchen again. I'm making this recipe I found on all recipes. And um, I said, put pour sauce, pour sauce and better over tenderloin. That should be butter. But I, um, this seemed like the simplest recipe and the reviews were really good. So I'm doing that right now. And then it's in there, looking good. Half a cup, half a cup of butter that's a lot it's a whole stick but I'm trying this sweetener now I tried the caramel yesterday hopefully it's good beef loin is ready and I'm starting to make pasta salad okay so there's a beef loin covered I'm gonna test it out in a second and then here is the pasta salad that my grandmother wanted so there's onion a little bit of mayo, pimentos, and salt and pepper, and that's it. I'm gonna pause this while I cut open that just to see how it tastes, because I never tried that recipe before. So I thought I would taste it. It's been resting for about 20 minutes, I feel like, and so this, oops, so the sauce is soy sauce and melted butter, but the reviews were amazing, so I'm gonna see. This is overcooked for me, um, but there were three different sizes, so I should have pulled it out earlier. Hmm, not bad. A little salty because of the soy sauce, but it's not bad. It's just, I think it's a interesting kind of meat because the 
recipe says beef tenderloin and this says beef loin and I think there is some sort of difference so I'm not sure but not bad um, would probably not make again but use the same timing for the oven does that make sense like I would change up the the sauce yeah now that I'm filming she's not gonna do it but she was catching every one I was throwing up ah see we're repotting that plant so we're out here we're not really hanging out with a bunch of people we just want to be home for 4th of July look at her so good I don't know if I forgot to say it, but happy 4th everyone these beef loins were kind of disappointing the sauce wasn't that great which I had already talked about but it was super salty so I diluted it with some water and it's a little bit better but not my favorite so I decided to make the short ribs to have something good and this is also to test out the instant pot um, I'm gonna see whether it first off this lid to get it on is super hard in my opinion um, so that's a negative but if the food tastes absolutely amazing, I'm going to keep it. So I'm testing it out with the short ribs that I have. And hopefully it'll come out good. I'm not sure. Um, but this smells good. The short ribs are amazing because they're from Wegmans. I love that. Uh, I love their meat. And it looks good so far. So we'll see. I finished making the short ribs. And it released on its own. And then... Whoa look at that that looks really good so we're gonna give it a taste test and um, I'm excited we'll see we're watching the fireworks now the recipe calls for mixing water and cornstarch to thicken the sauce and that's what I'm doing it smells really good and the meat is falling off the bone I will come back to close out today's vlog um, or the close out the day and talk about the instant pot a little bit but it looks and smells amazing I just wanted to say a few things before I say goodnight that instant pot short rib recipe which by the way is made by B Big Bear's wife amazing I this was the test recipe to see if I wanted to keep the instant pot or not and it was amazing fall off the bone so good and I think a lot of that has to do with the way that the person wrote the recipe very helpful and just the ingredients she used I mean the instant pot made it cook really quickly and was very easy just one pot amazing so I am definitely a believer now in the instant pot and if you have any recipes that you love to make in there please send them along my way and we just finished watching the fireworks show we didn't do much today i'm embarrassed i'm wearing the same outfit that i wore yesterday just because why not it wasn't dirty i didn't wear it for a long time and we did a lot of yard work today the front and the back that we've been meaning to there's weeds growing on the shed and the front plants were dying so it just seemed a little bit un no what is that garden street appeal curb appeal there was no curb appeal in the front or the back so we fixed that so that was great uh ran to lowe's and this is gonna be like the third time tomorrow that we have to go back to lowe's because they didn't give us the right price on the mirrors and the toilet handle that we bought was broken so we're gonna return that we got the right one we couldn't bring it back today we did go today um because then our toilet wouldn't have been working while we were gone and I didn't want that for my grandmother so <laughs> we gotta return stuff tomorrow I'm giving we're going back me and Steve both are going back to um to well he's doing a sonogram and I'm giving blood so I'm not gonna eat anymore it's around almost 10 o'clock I'm not gonna eat now I'm gonna go to bed soon because you have to wake up early I have an appointment but I'm gonna try to be a walk-in um because he has an appointment at 8 30 so I'm gonna see I hope you guys had a great day and I'll be back tomorrow for the last so tomorrow is going to be my last day I put I was trying to do in this video my first official week off and today alone I feel like I got a lot of stuff done 
Um, so tomorrow, though, is going to be interesting. My friend, I think I mentioned it to you, my friend who's coming from Texas, she came today, and we're going to hang out tomorrow, and we're going to go to the special place, and I hope, I hope I film it, or just get some clips of it. Okay, uh, good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Today is Friday. I'm at Burger King, and I have their mocha iced coffee, or, well, yeah. I think that's what it's called with vanilla it's so good and we got breakfast I got my blood taken right there and it's a good morning so far I'm gonna show you what we got okay so this is the croissant which it looks really good and their home fries our tater tots are so good and I want to show you the burrito but Steve's got to start eating it look at this thing yeah we're at the grounds for sculpture now. It's pretty cool, right, Steve? Yep. And what's this about? I don't know. There's you skulls just said it's morbid. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, let's t go look. It looks very like horror movie-ish. Oh, there it goes. so I'm gonna close the vlog out I had a pretty good week the first half wasn't that good because I was still not feeling well um think I'm getting better I thought I was getting better a few times while I was still sick but I really wasn't but today I felt really good I went to that grounds for a sculpture in New Jersey and that was so fun it was a little bit hot but it was just a good time we walked for over two hours we saw i believe the whole grounds the restaurant was closed because they were having a private party which makes kind of sense i would love to have something there it's beautiful and your guests could i think walk around the grounds i think i'm not sure um but it was just a really good time if you follow me on instagram you would have seen a bunch of the pictures and stories that i took it was a really good time i would recommend it if you are near the area or you've been thinking about it I would go again, but I wouldn't go unless the weather was a bit cooler. I think the sun, it would be too much. And today was a cloudy day too, but it was still like really hot. And they have a few places you can walk inside, but it's mostly outside. And you're just walking around and there's nature and birds. I sprayed myself with mosquito repellent like three times because I saw the mosquitoes and they were kind of following us. So um, they were just everywhere. And there's a lot of water. There's, I believe there's a lake there but it was the stuff was really interesting to see my favorite parts were the water uh features that they had or sculptures that they had and there's this really cool sculpture where it's the public is involved so i you take it's this wooden thing and you take um a hammer and they have five hammers and you take out a change quarter whatever you want I used a penny and you just hammer it into this wooden structure and it's like I'm part of the exhibit now or the the sculpture now so that was really cool and interactive it's, the whole thing is interactive you could really you could walk up to sculpture you could touch it you can just do basically whatever you want unless it tells you like don't touch the sculptures or something like that but really you have free reign and they have these peacocks i got a peacock feather so it was a great day and my friend she's my friend and her sister who i am also friends with they gave me this gift it's the fab spring fling and whoa and then also a Kate Spade wallet which I have a wallet similar to this is sparkly and I love it so really cute was not expecting it and I was gonna do a separate birthday haul but I don't think so my birthday gifts have been kind of all over the place a couple of times I've been treated for dinner and um, I did get a GoPro that I was gonna return but I'm gonna keep it now but I'm glad I'm keeping it just because I'll have it for the cruise and I'll take it underwater with me, hopefully, which is super cool. And I got the Instant Pot, which I made the short, I made a recipe uh, for short ribs in there. Amazing. Wait, <laughs> that's in this video. Oh my goodness. This is the kind of brain that I've been having lately. So I don't know if I need to take some vitamins or supplements but my brain has not been working properly i feel like since the last few weeks of school and it's going into summer 
uh, my summer break. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, vlog. You know, there wasn't that much going on, especially since I wasn't feeling well. But also, I'm just a homebody. I like to be home. I love cooking. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my first official week off. I can't believe it. It's going by quickly but i'm also enjoying my time and just i think i need to rest and get the right kind of rest and also start exercising and um eating foods that are good for me that burger king was not me and steve were having like our stomachs were hurting i well my stomach was hurting but it was so good at the time but afterwards it wasn't that good once in a while it's okay but um i have to just be more mindful is just, that's where I'm trying to go with my whole like my whole self just be more mindful of what I'm eating what I'm doing um, what I'm saying things like that to just have a stress-free life I'm getting really deep here towards the end of the vlog but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're doing really well and I'll talk to you soon bye